Hello and welcome to our YouTube tutorial. In this video, we will show you how to read values from an SQL Server database and select the corresponding material using a barcode scanner. Afterward, we will save the updated values in the database. We'll start by creating a new dashboard. First, I add some visual elements such as headers and the current time. Then I create an SQL data source, to which I assign a suitable name. I set the reload mode to On Startup so that the data source is only updated when the system starts. Later, I will manually reload the data source. In the next step, I use the previously saved database connection and enter the required parameters to establish a connection to the database. After that, I create an SQL query to load the data from the database, which I will later display in a table. Now, I create a variable where the ID of the selected material will be stored. This variable is of type number, and as a sample value, I use the material ID 1001. Then, I create a data flow to filter the data for the selected material. To do this, I link the material ID column from the data source with the variable I created earlier. Every time a new value is written into the variable, the data flow is automatically reloaded. To process the barcode scans, I create a global event that is triggered with each scan. The scanned value, which is initially provided as a string, is then converted into a numerical value and written into the variable. I add the selected material information into text fields in a dedicated section on my dashboard so that it is always visible. In the next step, I create another variable where the quantity of the selected material to be added or removed will be stored. This variable is also a numeric variable. To select the quantity, I use a slider control that is linked to the variable. This allows the quantity to be selected between 1 and 10. Now I add a button that triggers the removal of the selected quantity. I attach a script to the button that updates the values in the SQL database. For this, I use the Run SQL Query block combined with a text with Dynamic Placeholders block. I then fill the placeholders with the respective values. For the quantity, I take the current quantity minus the selected amount, and for the material ID, I use the corresponding material ID from my variable. Once the SQL query has been executed, the data source is reloaded. I can repeat the same process for storing materials, but instead of a minus, I use a plus to add the quantity. Finally, I create a chart control to display the current quantity of each material and its minimum quantity. To do this, I link the material name and current quantity columns with the chart control and add the minimum quantity as a threshold. If the current quantity falls below the minimum, the corresponding bar will be colored orange. I also add a line to represent the minimum quantity in my chart. Now my dashboard is complete. In the preview, I can see that scanning a barcode selects the corresponding material and updates the values in the database. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the video or ideas for topics we could cover in the next one, leave us a comment.